Hello and welcome to this special edition of e Cystic Fibrosis Review. I'm Peter Mogazel and I'm here today with Dr. Ed McCone from St. Vincent's University Hospital in Dublin, Ireland. In Dublin today at the European Cystic Fibrosis Congress. Welcome, Dr. McCone. Thank you. Uh, you'll be speaking about Ivacaftor and the results of a long-term study of Ivacaftor. If you could mm -hmm. just start by telling us what exactly is Ivacaftor and what does it treat? So Ivacaftor is a, a novel therapy for uh, patients with cystic fibrosis. Um, as you know, uh, CF is caused by mutation in the cystic fibrosis gene. And about 5% of patients with cystic fibrosis have a particular mutation called the G551D. Mm -hmm. And this particular mutation results in a protein that doesn't work properly um, at the surface of the cell inside the lungs and different organs. What the drug Ivacaftor does is that this drug actually switches on or helps this protein to work mm -hmm. properly. And the chloride channel function of CFTR is increased with this drug. Mm -hmm. And so it restores some of that, uh, that CFTR function that is absent in most people with cystic fibrosis. So it's a very novel therapy that really tr uh, treats the cause of cystic fibrosis, which is dysfunction of the cystic fibrosis uh, protein. Well, tell me about the data that you uh, presented on the effectiveness of Ivacaftor. So we presented data yesterday on the long-term effects of Ivacaftor in people with cystic fibrosis with the G551D mutation. Um, as you know, there were two large randomized mm -hmm. controlled trials looking at the effect of this drug in adolescents, adults, and children. There was a STRIVE study, which was for adults and adolescents, which showed a beneficial effect of Ivacaftor on lung function, on exacerbation frequency, improved weight and quality of life mm -hmm. in people aged 12 and upwards. The Envision study was then a one-year study looking at Ivacaftor in children aged 6 to 11 and found similar results. The PERSIST study, which we presented yesterday, is an open-label extension of that study, whereby we had an additional one-year follow-up of people who were in the STRIVE study, which was the adults and adolescents, and we had 24 weeks of follow-up mm -hmm. for people who participated in, in vision. And I suppose there were a few different things that we found. Firstly, we found that for those people who received Ivacaftor during the original trials, both in Vision and Strive, the beneficial effects on lung function on, um, and, and weight continued to the end of the follow-up period that we were presenting yesterday. In addition, the group that received placebo in both the Strive and the Envision, when they rolled over onto, into receiving Ivacaftor, showed the exact same benefits that were seen in the original studies. Uh, and again, in a very uh, quick fashion, within two weeks, lung function went up in both, uh, both for pediatric patients and adult patients, as well as improvements in weight over time. Uh, how do you think this data will help clinicians when they're deciding to use Ivacaftor? Well, I think it's important that with any new drug that's on the market that we ensure, firstly, that the effect of it is persistent, mm -hmm. that when you're giving a drug that has side effects, or particularly a novel drug where we don't know a lot about mm -hmm. the mechanisms of it, that uh, we monitor very closely to ensure continued efficacy, and certainly there was evidence of that uh, based on the data we presented yesterday. In addition to that, though, also very importantly is that the, each of the randomized control trials are one year in length, and I suppose there is a possibility that there could be side effects that may take longer than a year to develop. Mm -hmm. And so we now have an additional year of data for people in the STRIVE study and an additional uh, half a year's data for the Envision study, which shows that there are no major side effects, uh, no increase in the number of side effects uh, with this drug. Well, that's very positive uh, results. Uh, do you have future plans for additional studies? Well, I think firstly the, the plan is to do a total of a two-year follow-up of these patients. Oh, okay. So we'll have a total of three years of data then for both the adults and, and the pediatric patients. So I think that's very important that we continue to monitor this drug closely mm -hmm. to ensure that it's continuing to be effective uh, and also to make sure that the side effect profile is safe. But uh, uh, that's, that will be the main, the main plan in the, in the uh, future. Well, thank you very much, Dr. McCone, for joining me today. And thank you for tuning in to see us on eCystic Fibrosis Review.